Hi everyone, voiceover Allison here, and I'm going to walk you through how I add this cute little ruffle to a plain vanilla pair of socks. This is, I think, my favorite way of adding a ruffle to anything. You could really add it to any kind of garment, but it's completely seamless. As you can see in the cuff, it's really maintained its stretch. You don't have to sew. There's no provisional cast on or anything. It's just a really simple technique for adding two different knit pieces of fabric together. And here you can see it with a much longer ruffle and a slightly higher contrast. So you're able to see a little bit better that it is completely knit into the cuff. So you can see the mohair peeking through there and it works really well for just adding a ruffle to a piece of fabric. So here we have our silk mohair ruffle. This is knit on US size three needles and it's about a half an inch long or so. And you need to identify the top and the bottom of the fabric. So the top side, that's where you see all the V's. The bottom side is where you see all the pearl bumps. We need to make sure that that is going to be facing upwards towards the cast on edge of the ribbed cuff. So see, we have our ribbed cuff here. This is about an inch and a half long. And we want to make sure that we have our tail here. You can see the tail. It needs to be towards the back of the work. Otherwise, you will make the mistake that I did and you'll have to cut your tail and add a new one in. So to do this technique, we're going to be slipping stitches. It's just slipping a stitch purl wise. So here's an example and just slip it back. Slipping stitches. It's really that easy. So what we're going to do is place that mohair ruffle right on top. And this is where you need to make sure that the top side of the fabric, the right side, I suppose you could say, is facing up towards the cast on edge of the cuff. So we slipped one of the working rib stitches already. Let's slip one from the ruffle. Then slip one of the rib stitches. One from the ruffle. And that's the whole thing that we're going to do all the way around, going one by one, one from the ribbing stitches, one from the ruffle stitches, and continue until you've gotten back to the beginning. Now you can see here, we're getting a little bit tangled up with the mohair. So what I'm going to do is just press this up and out of the way. Essentially, if you were sewing, this would be like putting right sides together, but we wanted to make sure that we had everything going the right direction first. And now that we have definitely got our ruffle going the right way, I'm just gonna press it up and out of the way. It just makes things a little bit easier. Uh, it's easier to see and you don't have the ruffle getting tangled up in your working yarn. So you can see the last stitch that we did was one of the ruffle stitches in mohair. So we're going to continue on with one of the rib stitches, ruffle stitches, rib stitches again, and so on and so forth. So I have super sped this up here. Obviously it's not that fast in real life, but we are going to be just continuing to go all the way around, slipping one stitch from the ribbing, one stitch from the ruffle until you get all the way back to the beginning. And this completely just incorporates the ruffle into your working rib needle set. And here we can see the ruffle is slipped all the way, all the way around onto our working needle set. You can see that it's right side up. And from there, we're just gonna keep knitting. So I'm going to continue this in ribbing. You just want to take the tail end of the ruffle out of the way. We're only going to be working with our regular working yarn, our sock yarn. And from what we do here, it's going to be knit two together, purl two together. And each of those stitches is going to be one mohair stitch, one regular sock yarn stitch. So you can see here we have every other stitch, one sock yarn, one's mohair. And as I'm knitting them together, I just need to make sure that I'm catching that mohair. And then I'm gonna purl them together, catching the mohair, and continue with the one by one ribbing. Mm -hmm. 
So let me bring it just a little bit closer. And here it's a little easier to see. We have one stitch in the mohair, one stitch in the regular sock yarn, and we're knitting and purling these two together. So continue knitting two together, purling two together, all the way around, and that will completely incorporate your ruffle into your cuff. And once you've made it all the way around with your knit and purl round, that's it. You have completely incorporated the ruffle into your cuff. Here you can see that the ruffle is completely attached. We don't have any stitches that are missing or loose. You can see the right side is up where we want it. And that's more or less it. From here, you're going to continue on knitting your ribbing. You can knit your ribbing as long as you would like it. And it's completely seamless. You can see on the inside here, it's nice and clean. And then obviously when you're done, you'll just sew in your ends, however it works for you. Let me bring it just a little bit closer. So you can see here that it's completely woven into the ribbing of the cuff. And I just think that this is just a really simple, easy way to make a really cute pair of socks. I like that it has um, absolutely no stitching. There's no provisional cast on involved. It's just a very simple technique for creating a seamless ruffle within your socks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.